how to let go and trust the universe. Well, actually, without trust, without belief, it's very hard to allow the laws of attraction and the laws of the universe to actually work for us. Now, I'm going to talk on two levels throughout this video. The first level is the fundamentals for the logic brain. For you guys who are just getting into this whole idea of the secret or think and grow rich or the laws of attraction. So you guys can understand it better because I used to be the logical brain and bringing it into understanding and having an open mind to actually accept this reality was a very hard task for me. So I want to explain it in a very easily understandable way, if understandable is a word, I think it might be. Okay, so, um, and for those of you who are already into this and have been in this journey for a while, you'll realize that actually, you know, to manifest something, to manifest anything you want in life, it is crucial to actually be able to allow the art of letting go and allowing the universe to work its magic. But the biggest problem is that's very hard, especially when we have a logical brain telling us otherwise. So our mind can be saying, you know, I understand manifestation. I understand law of attraction. It's very simple. All I need to do is vibrate at that high frequency and think of abundance and money, right? And for some of you, maybe manifesting the love of your life, you think, okay, I get it. You're thinking, okay, um, really be able to visualize her, see her you know, and, and be able to be in that moment. But for some reason, it's not working out for you. And the biggest reason towards that is probably, most likely, you probably know deep down inside that there is a part of you that has the disbelief. There's the part of your logical mind which has the doubt, which is kind of like, well, I understand the law of attraction. I understand these principles and they kind of make sense to me. But at the same time, I can't get myself to believe <laughs> that that actually is going to be my reality. And this becomes a problem because even if there is a lot of you which believes this to be the reality, even if there was an ounce of it happening, and the biggest problem is our subconscious mind not believing it is creating our reality. And the subconscious mind is something that we are not aware of. They are our subconscious beliefs and our subconscious limiting beliefs. So how do we get ourselves to actually finally trust and allow this all to happen? We're going to dive deep and get into it. But before we get into it, show real. Hit it. What's up guys, Eric Ho here, and this video is gonna highlight and illustrate to you the step-by-step -step how you actually get yourself to actually let go and trust the universe to allow the laws of attraction to work for you. And so how do we go about doing this? I think the real question is the opposite. Once you understand the opposite to what you are trying to make yourself believe, then maybe you will get rid of any disbelief. And what does this mean? A lot of people say, how do I actually fully trust the universe that has really got my back? What if it doesn't, you know? The real question you ask, and this is what clarified and cleared everything up for me. The real question is, who are you not to trust? Those of you who are used to my videos, please type that in the comments box below to instill that learning and put that vibration out there so we start manifesting what we want. Those of you who are new to this channel, what we do is we type our learnings and I will get you frequently within the video to type in the learnings in the comments box. That is to instill the learning on a deeper level because we're going to be going quite deep and going into different things, okay? So who are we not to trust? Who are you? not to trust. What does this mean? It means if we understand that you, me, and everything and everyone around us was created by something, some force, some magical power that was actually greater than all of us together. We had no say in that. It was all just done for us. Now, if that magical power, now you may call him God, or you may call it the universe, or you can call it the laws of attraction. You can call it science. Some of you logical minded people want to call it the big bang. That's fine too. But we cannot deny 
it was a magical experience and the powers of that magical experience, whatever that force was, was actually greater than us. We had no say in it. We had no control over it. It happened and it was magical. So if we come into acceptance that our creation, the creation of us, was a magical experience, not under our control. Now let's think of what, what happens when we are about to leave this planet. Do we have a say when we're going to leave this planet? Do we have a say, do we have any control over how we want to leave this planet? If you think about it, it doesn't matter how safe, how protective we want to live our lives, we have no say, we have no control. So in actual fact, does this not mean that our birth and our death is not controlled by us and is something that is out of our control? Now, if birth is that way, if death is that way, let's look at the final thing. What about our everyday lives? We like to believe that, okay, the laws of attraction are working for us. We also like to believe that we have thoughts which creates our reality. But then comes the other question is, where does thought come from? A lot of you want to say, okay, thought comes from my mind. Okay, where are you or who are you? If you think you are this physical being right now and you're sitting inside the control box, controlling your hand, maneuvering your eye blinking, you know, where are you? You think you're inside the heart or you think you're inside the brain? Where are you positioned right now? Or you think you're actually beyond this? Why are we able to close our eyes and actually imagine ourselves beyond ourselves and watch ourselves in our position? Why? It's because we are the infinite being. And what if the infinite being was actually the universe too? Where does thought come from? We think we have the ability to create new thought and new ideas. What if that was beyond us? And if this was true, that even thought is beyond us, then who are we not to trust? Because you are not you are not failing to trust someone else. You are not failing to trust your reality or the situations or circumstances that you feel define you. But the biggest thing you do not trust, if you say you don't trust the universe, is you don't trust yourself. Because we are one. We are one whole. And it doesn't matter how much you want to control right now. We can't even control or be certain of what's going to happen the next moment. And if this is all 100% true right now, the real question is not how can we trust, how can we let go and trust the universe? The real question is how can we not trust? Who are we not to trust? When we come to this realization, we have no other way than to learn to take a deep breath in with me now and out. We have no option but to trust, but to surrender, but to allow, but to trust that intuition and follow that gut feeling or God feeling and allow everything to unfold as it's supposed to be and everything will be beautiful, will be peace, will be love, will be one. The biggest problem is most people, they bring their logical mind into this and they are too busy thinking. But the biggest problem is our logical mind is not our logical mind. Think about it. Our logical mind is what other people have told us is right or wrong to do or not to do. We were not born into this world with such logical mind, only intuition, gut feeling, God feeling, heart feeling. So if we can channel back into that alignment and just be, listen to our intuition, that feeling and follow it and allow whatever is supposed to unfold in front of us to unfold, it is exactly the way it's supposed to be. Guys, if this message has landed even on any surface level to the deeper levels, to your vibrations, 
please do hit the thumbs up. And another thing as well, comment below. Let me know where you guys have tuned in from. I'm out in the US next, uh, next week. So maybe some of you can show us around <laughs> and maybe we can catch up. Um, and finally, remember, remember, if you're not already, hit that subscribe button and the notifications button next to it because now I'm dedicated to making daily videos to hold you accountable to make 2018 your best year yet. But for now, guys, ciao.